Hello everyone, this is Win Voice. I'm so happy to deliver you Captain Udaka's rating. Today's topic is the final unravelment on the origin of good and evil. The birth of humans and the birth of life, which leads to the birth of consciousness. The birth of consciousness is the birth of characters, which means the birth of personality. The birth of personality includes the birth of emotions, which gives rise to good and evil. The origin of good and evil is rooted in the actions of emotions, which belong to the realm of soul consciousness. Good and evil have given birth to religions. By those religions are perfectly pure good that is left behind after all evil is removed from good and evil has been defined as God. Once all the bad things are removed from human emotions and consciousness, only good has been believed to remain the nature of God. This is the origin of God, born at the level of human consciousness. This is the birth of tainted God. Every good originates from the heaven. The origin of every evil is also the heaven. Nevertheless, the heaven is neither good nor evil. The origin of the heaven is God. The origin of all gods is the creator or source creator. The origin of all good things is the creator. The origin of all evil things is also the creator. Good and evil are various spectra of energies. Good and evil are the various interactions of energies. Good and evil are nothing but various transformations of energies. Everything on the earth has come from the heaven. All the things on the ground have come from the Creator's consciousness. Because of the plan of heaven, the plan can be unfolded on the earth due to the will of the heaven. The circulation of life can be realized on the ground. Every good and evil unfolded on earth originate from the creator's consciousness. The origin of the dichotomy of right and wrong realized on earth is also rooted in the creator's consciousness. Every beauty and ugliness on the ground comes from the consciousness of a creator. The creator's consciousness is the origin of all types of energy and all kinds of life. The creator's consciousness is the breathing of all life forms. Everything on the ground shall return to the heaven when the time comes. This is great law and principle of the universe. It is natural law by which the grand universe go its way. By the law of energy, the grand universe can go its course smoothly through the interactions of energies. The universe can evolve itself and the law of grand universe can be unfolded. In the change of energies, all creatures refit the cycle of its unfolding and folding through the transformation of energies. The universe was divided into the material world and the non-material world. All things are the results of the interactions of energies. Energy is the wind, which is the breath of life. Besides, the wind is the breath of a creator, which is flowing 
between life forms. Now, the wind is flowing between the heaven and the earth. The wind is messenger delivering heavenly news to the earth. At the same time, the wind is a herald transferring the news of the earth to the heaven. Between the heaven and the earth, a great wind is blowing. The heaven has become the earth and the earth have come the heaven. The heaven has come down to the earth to terminate material civilization on the earth and open up new spiritual civilization, the heaven has come down to the earth. To terminate old debates about good and evil, to sweep out the way of justice, to install new material matrices, to make the experimental planet and the seed planet to perfection, to close down to the six major cycles of the grand universe and to open up the seventh major cycle of the grand universe. The heaven has come down to the earth. For the war, for the dimensional expansion of the grand universe and the earth's dimensional ascension, the heaven, the origin of good and evil, will clean up all the things the heaven has created by itself. January 26, 2018, Rebecca wrote. Translated by Wind Boys. Thank you for watching it. See you next time. Bye.